Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching another video. In this video, we're doing a side-by-side -side video. I do enjoy a side-by-side, -side, and this wasn't the original side-by-side -side I was planning on doing. Up here on my shelf, I've got Samuel Smith's Taddy Porter and Fuller's London Porter. I've had a month, and I was always gonna do those side-by-side. -side. And then about 12 days ago, maybe, 13, 14 days ago, uh, Dean's Beer Reviews did those side by side. So I decided to uh, bin that idea. Didn't want people thinking I was copying. Not that it makes any difference. I could still do it. If you want me, if you want me to do it, put it in the comments and uh, I'll do it. So I thought I'd do a different side by side anyway. So I was in Sainsbury's today, picking up a few bits and I looked at the vice beers and they've got four different types of vice beers in there. But I picked these two up and I thought, I do those side by side. I haven't had a vice beer for ages. I haven't reviewed a vice beer in ages. So let's crack on and do that. So the ones we're looking at, we've got the Schneider Weiss original vice beer, 500 ml bottle coming in at 5.4% ABV. And that's gonna go up against the Weinstefana Heffer vice beer, 500 ml bottle. This also comes in at 5.4% ABV. On the back of this one, it does say Bavarian Purity Law of 1516, the world's oldest brewery, apparently, since 1040. Yeah, that is old, isn't it? So anyway, let's quit waffling and let's get pouring. Uh, so let's open the Vine Stefana first. No, I'm not gonna open it with that. I need a bottle opener for that. It's not in the right glass, but it is a, a German Weiss beer glass, Ettinger. It's a nice glass. Well, let's get this one in there. That was a bit aggressive. That was very aggressive. That might take a moment. Let's start pouring the other one. I did pour that aggressively, didn't I ask for that? I know with some Weiss beers you can get a nice big old head on them anyway, but that was aggressive. So let's open the Schneider Weiss and whack it in a unbranded glass. Let's do this one a bit slower. This looks darker. Now I might need to get a bit more aggressive because we're not getting any head. Let's pop that one there, the Schneider Weiss. Put that next to it. Uh, let's see if we can pour some more of this. This is boring, isn't it? <laughs> we'll bubble on top of there. Completely different heads. And different colour. There we go. We'll get going in a minute. Sorry if I'm boring you. Right. Don't know if you're going to have them all in camera shot. Let's put that there put that there there's still some more left in the vine stefana which is a shame i'd like to have got that all in but on looks lovely haze to it a lot of carbonation going on there is this nucleated i don't think it is no it's not but yeah some serious old carbonation going on in there massive four fingers of tight 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 head it's like orange in color almost clear at the bottom but it is kind of thinner at the bottom looks good the carbonation in there is brutal and it's not a nucleated glass absolutely brutal carbonation so let's have a look at the schneider vice which is a completely different color almost got like that's really carbonated as well and i know um vice beers are quite carbonated but that look at the difference i hope that shows up the difference i mean that next to that one looks this looks quite lemony lemon and orange Whereas that's got more of a an amber type hue, certainly in the main body of the glass, but both got tremendous carbonation, yet that's not hanging onto its head. Interestingly. What's the date on this? Yeah, next year. So, what should we have a sniff of first? Let's have a sniff of the Vine Stefana first. Smells good. Oh, that does smell good. I haven't had a vice beer for ages and I don't know why. And they're such good summer beers as well, and I haven't even touched them in the summer. 
you definitely got that typical typical vice beer bill <laughs> vice beer aroma <laughs> oh. definitely pick up on the cloves the candied like banana orange and a gentle gentle pepper pepper pe oh I can't speak today peppery <laughs> it's peppery cloves bananas orange pepper and there's something else that I just can't quite pinpoint what it is but it smells very good and it's very gentle really nice gentle aroma each of those aromas the different types of aroma none's more powerful than the other it's just very gentle let's have a, a sniff ski of the Schneider just need to move away clear the nose very very similar slightly harder to work it's, it's a bit harder working these ones out it's the, the aromas are not as prominent as the um, Vine Stefana a bit more peppery I'd say I'd say the, the everything else is the same but there's a bit more of a kind of that clovey pepperiness is a bit more prominent in the Schneider but both smell absolutely glorious can I get the rest of this in because I'd really like any bits off the bottom in here I don't think I'm going to get it all in I'll see what we do we'll pop that there we'll taste the Schneider Weiss first hope this video is coming together <laughs> it feels really awkward it feels like nothing's going right cheers Schneider Weiss nice such a rubbish word nice isn't it can't stand the word yet I use it all the time <coughs> all right let's have a look at this one then let's have another taste it's like the aroma it's definitely has more of a, a kind of peppery element to it the candied banana you do get that's starting to come through a little bit more now with <coughs> slight orange zest and the orange and the pepper are sitting together the banana kind of works at the front and then the orangey zest and the pepper side of it that clove element to it are sitting at the back which is ideally where I'd, I'd want that to be honest uh, it's a bit thin on the mouthfeel it's not particularly smooth but it is so well carbonated that that's going to take away any smoothness uh, it's not bad actually um, I've certainly had better vice beers I rarely buy vice beers in supermarkets and I don't really know why uh, I buy most of mine off trembling madness but the ones that you can't get in a supermarket pardon me but nonetheless that's nice it's a bit thin and what's also happening with that I'm really starting to notice with the Schneider is the flavour drops off once it's gone it's pretty much gone now can we get the rest of this in go on please all go in there we go yeah and there's bits <laughs> that's what I wanted in there didn't want to leave the bits out right so let's have a look at the vine the vine Stefana cheers well, it looks good doesn't it? it looks absolutely fantastic and there's definitely some floaties in there no floaties in the Schneider Cheers. Mm. It's amazing that they're both both vice vice beers, but with very similar flavourings. But that Vine Stefana does everything a lot more amplified than the Schneider. It's got a better mouthfeel, it's got more of a smoothness to it. There is an element of kind of a cream, not cream, but it's that type of smoothness with that carbonation works really well. And the flavours are much more prominent than the Schneider. The pepper on it is nice 
that's more prominent than the Schneider and it really does have smoothness to it compared to the Schneider it's so much smoother the flavors are all there the the getting a good citrus orange on there again so does the Schneider but this is doing doing it a lot better you get that candied fruit you get the cloves and it's a bit spicier so I'm talking about the pepper it's more like coriander coriander pepper cloves orange and a lovely lovely smoothness that's very nice they any time of the beer any time of the beer see what I mean any time of the year vice beers great in the summer absolutely glorious in the summer and great in the winter because they've got like winter type flavors to them so they're just good all rounds but I just don't know why I've hardly touched them this year I really haven't and I must admit I'm getting bored of reviewing New England IPAs and citrusy and juice bomb IPAs I'm really bored of reviewing them hence I haven't really done many recently maybe I should look at doing more of vice beers uh, there's certainly plenty out there certainly plenty on trembling madness and, and other places so out the two uh, I would go with oh, that one um, I'm sure it was less than two quid it must yeah it was it was less than two quid in Sainsbury's both of them were there's another two vice beers on the shelf in Sainsbury's you've got the Frank the Frankie and Erdinger so I might pick those two up and do those side by side and then pick a, a favorite out of the four so there you go that's my review of two vice beers um, it felt a bit disjointed this video <laughs> I hope it didn't come across that way I will watch it back and I'll see myself but I'm gonna put it out regardless uh, yeah out of those two uh, the God, mum so I mean my mind is mush and I haven't even been drinking today <laughs> and the Vine Stefana wins that for me over the Schneider Weiss that's okay really lacks on the mouthfeel and the flavours are a little bit muted compared to that better mouthfeel bolder flavours but both still decent but I would pick the Vine Stefana there you go I'm all done I hope you've enjoyed it thanks for enduring it see you all on the next one take care bye now